It shoots up from over there and then all the way across the sky and then over the buildings and then over to there before it dissipates. What the fuck? Well, one of my favorite details of our previous apartment was the fairy lights that we set up on the balcony. Um, we set them up just sort of like along the, along the balcony edging there and it just provided such a nice little touch at night time when the sun goes down the light goes away and sort of just lights up the whole deck. Uh, today we picked up these new set. This is like a rope style arrangement, which is a little different to our previous type, but check them out. We'll see what they're like. Okay, they're done. I think they look pretty good. What do you think, babe? Yeah, wow, that was awesome. You like them? I think they're pretty good. You guys know how I'm always harping on about looking for the blessing in, in perceived challenges. Um, I got a little story. I want to emphasize that when I talk like that, I'm not referring to some kind of airy fairy, positive thinking, look for the blessing kind of thing. I mean, literally there will be a blessing in every single challenge. Um, if you look for it, I gotta get my phone. So we went down to Bunnings the other day. Well, I went to Bunnings the other day. Uh, Robin and I found this really awesome concrete table, um, exactly what we wanted. We used to have like a wooden one at the old apartment. But we decided when we moved in here not to bring it up. We didn't like it, we wanted a new one. And we had a specific design, it was like concrete with bench seats. We had a specific design in mind. We found it. Um, so we talked to the lady at Bunnings and we said, we wanna buy this table, how do we make it happen? And she fumbled around and she wasn't really present, didn't really want to serve us and I was a bit frustrated and she didn't seem like she knows what she was doing or what she was talking about. Um, and then I ended up having to give her my number and they just, they never called back. Um, <laughs> it was a, a $3,000 table and I was just thinking, this business has just left all this money on the table. I wanted to buy, I wanted to take it out of the shop right then and they just, they just there was a flaw in their system, right? Um, and I got a little bit frustrated and I, perceived it at the time as a challenge, I'm like, oh, this I want to share a technique, a strategy that you can use, that, you, that I recommend using every single day when something happens that you think is a challenge or, or, or someone pisses you off or you start judging someone or, or you know, putting yourself above someone. Always ask yourself this, whatever they are doing, when have you done that exact same thing? The power of answering that question, it neutralizes any judgments and resentments and anything. Because I guarantee in some way or shape or form, you've done exactly that. Um, so to neutralize my anger with this woman, uh, I sort of asked, like, when have I left money on the table in business? When have I, um, when has someone wanted to pay me for something and through sloppy service or without being, with a, through a lack of organization, how have I left money on the table? How have I not been able to serve someone um, because of that? Um, and then I found all these ways and then Snapchat started showing up saying from people saying I want to buy this I want to buy that and I had holes in my business um, That I've since patched I fixed them now I specifically refer to Active Trader Season 4, which has been completed for some time, but it hasn't been for sale. We haven't been able to offer it um, through a series of events that have occurred, um, and we just haven't been able to sell it to the students and serve the students with it, despite numerous email requests to purchase it. Uh, and the truth is, there was some tomfoolery around it. We employed a, a web developer to go and build the page and, and build the Season 4 dashboard and all this stuff, um, and it didn't work out and I can play the blame game all day long, but as soon as I'm, I'm, I'm delegating that responsibility, I can't fix it. I'm not in control of the situation, I can't fix it. This lady with the, with the tables, she highlighted me to a flaw in my model, um, and that woke me up, and I fixed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, MD. A billion robots. <laughs> Let's go. Not only was I able to highlight a flaw in my own business, but a week later I found the same table at a different store for a hundred bucks less. To the seemingly incompetent lady at Bunnings, thank you. Hey, you guys remember that computer that
that I was trying to sell a couple of vlogs back. Uh, I finally got it together and cleaned up and I'm selling it to my good friend Josh. I'm gonna go out and deliver it. Give it a hand, personalized delivery. I've got a lot of stuff lying around the house and in storage and down in the garage now. Just stuff that I don't use anymore that I need to get rid of, I need to sell. Is there some kind of online service where someone comes to your house, takes a photo of all your stuff, and sells it for you and then takes like a, a commission or a clip or something. There's gotta be something like that. Please let me know if there is. I need to use it. If there's not something like that, someone should invent that service. God, that'll be good. The thing is, even if I had to give away 20 or 30% of the sale price, I would prefer to take 70, 80% of something than 100% of nothing. I, I just don't have the time to sell the stuff, you know what I mean? God, that would be a good service. This afternoon, I'm heading down to the park to take some footage for the vlog. And also the girls are down there as well. I'm taking a camera and we are gonna, well, I'm gonna take a few shots of them, I guess. They're starting a business, uh, Robin and her friend Sarah. Uh, it's called The Wellness Project. I'll post a little bit about it here when they, when they get set up. Like filming us if we walk ahead, just a little black B-roll. Oh, uh, like right now? Like walking along the path. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Just quickly on the G7X. Oh uh, yeah. Can I vlog this? Yeah. Can I vlog me filming <laughs> this arrangement? Filming the filming. Someone said in my last vlog, when you start vlogging about vlogging, then you've run out of ideas. <laughs> I haven't run out of ideas. I got a lot more ideas. I got a like a word document filled with topics that I want to discuss and want to talk about. Mini lesson topics mainly. Jesus Christ, what the f Well, I went to Bunnings the other day to buy some 16 millimeter thick rope. I asked the bloke there, what's the softest rope you got? And he said, what's it for? Tying down a load of your truck? I said, fuck off, mate, I need it for dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> 